All right, now we have the second part of our um, discussion of transportation systems and ride hailing. And this goes through the components of a ride hailing and also transportation systems. Notice in this world we live in, uh, these companies are, are very ambitious. Uber does ride hailing, but it then uh, hires the entire uh, CS department at CMU, because uh, they're, they're located in Pittsburgh. And they'd start doing self driving cars. And obviously, Uber wants to do more things than ride hailing. And it, uh, it actually, as I've already mentioned, charges quite a lot to the, takes a large fraction of each, uh, each ride. And it uses that money to invest in such nifty things which are not really necessary to do ride hailing, such as controlling the world's transportation system. So, anyway, we'll go through these different components. Starting actually with one coming from Didi. Thank you. Here we have from the Didi tutorial, their transportation brain. <coughs> we have a bunch of, um, of um, map services, the pickup locations, estimated time of arrival, the navigation, the planning of the routes. We have to gather all possible data from DD itself, from the cloud source data from customers and hangers on. We have to optimize the whole system, demand and supply, the order dispatch, the pooling of the cars. Lots of all the right heading companies tend to have a pooling option where multiple customers share the same car. Then we have to have various forms of mobility, taxis, expresses, carpools, premier self-driving, walking, what have you. And uh, then we have to manage the whole thing. Signals, freeways, traffic guidance, crash management, AI dispatch, and so on. Accident, we have to analyze uh, these things as well. So this is a pretty sophisticated um, system. It's interesting. The taxis were so simple. They were a person with a phone and a taxi with a phone. That was it. And here is the success of the taxis. All right, here we have map services. <coughs> uh, we have to position the cars and passengers on the map. That's actually non trivial because I remember when I'm waiting for my Uber. The old lift, the hardest problem is actually where to wait, because the, the, the instructions are not often precise. Uh, we have to estimate the time of arrival, because that's what you advertise to the customer. You have to worry about these red parts here, which are high traffic. This is London. And uh, you also have to match the signals from the GPS to the map. Map services. Here is this map matching problem of mapping GPS to the position in the road, uh, which is um, not trivial in itself, a standalone um, machine learning application, because remember the measurements are not precise, and they can possibly be associated with multiple roads when you have lots of roads close to each other. And you have to actually use continuity, that people aren't going to, the two parallel roads, the car is not going to go back and forth between those roads on a single trip, now choose one. So here is an example of a some sort of measurement, actual, lo actual location, the red must be actual, the black the measurement. And um, obviously we, put, we uh, like many of these image processing problems, we want continuity. As I said, we don't want to do this. That's not a very plausible trip. It's possible at once, but not multiple times. Uh, route planning, how do we get from here to there? How do we route, which, which driver do we route to which customer? Um, so that's the journey initiation, is mapping um, cars to customers. And here we have the journey implementation, how we go from the beginning to the end of the trip. And how do we fold in dynamically the um, traffic? Because companies like Uber and Didi have obviously a lot of traffic information and can reroute their cars around disasters, whereas 
people like you and me find it much harder to do that. Uh, we don't have quite such a good feeling as to the to the scale of a particular disaster. Although the map, the things that the Google Map and equivalent do have do that information. So uh, here we have some some mathematics, namely the roads are a weighted graph because they go from A to B to C to D to E to F to G, and they each of the those graphs links has a has a weight the the length of it, and you try to build a graph where the probably the edge weight is the travel time on that graph, and you want to find a way of getting from where you want to. Get, where you are, say A, to where you want to go to F, in a way that <coughs> minimizes the total traffic cost. And that probably is, um, well, there are many ways of doing it. Um, it might even be that this is one of the fastest ways, I don't know. The alternative is that, which is 11, and this is more than 11. So it's actually the obvious route is the best. All right. I should point out that uh, I pointed out on the previous slide, Dijkstra's algorithm is a greedy algorithm. Greedy algorithms are iterative algorithms that make the local minima, the local optimal choice at each step. Um, so when they have a complex graph, they will go around, they will go do the, uh, the simplest choice at each step, which may not be the best. Um, here is a... Um, a plot of various algorithms in uh, which have different amounts of pre-processing time and <coughs> different amounts of query time. And you obviously need to um, uh, query fast, and, but, and you can afford a certain amount of pre-processing times. And this was a Western European road network. And uh, really quite a wide range of between the pre-processing time, we're then be making a giant table of everything, 10,000 minutes. There was no pre-processing time for the greedy algorithm, but then it takes longer in uh, real time. The table lookup just gets you the answer, so it's the quickest real time answer. All right, <coughs> traffic forecasting. Where you have to include rush hour effects, uh, these uh, which are gen sort of generic, and also the uh, sort of statistical effects of um, accidents, which happen inevitably at different places at different times with different uh, levels of extremity. And um, congestion is probably well, can, of course, accidents create congestion, so these are related um, issues. 